Good evening, fellow reactionists. Um, to any new people watching this, I am Crossover Legends. Hello. Um, now, want to quickly discuss something um, about the recent reaction and review. Uh, it was on Spider-Man Far From Home, which as I said in the review, it's a very good film. Um, <clears throat> I was going to put this at the end of the review, but I hadn't recorded it at the time, so I'm going to record it now as a separate video. Um, quick thing on um, Spider-Man Far From Home. It had a lot of familiar faces, a lot of faces we know of, a lot of faces that were new to us. Um, however, it felt empty somehow. Big screen of people watching, thousands of cast members, extras and main characters combined um, and yet somehow it was missing something. Now some of you may have noticed, some of you may not have noticed, um, but the thing that it was missing was very important. It was very important to me and I'm sure it's very important to a lot of Marvel fans out there. Um, and the thing that was missing did make it seem like is this I mean yes it's a Marvel film but is it a Marvel film? Because it was missing this one granted probably one very little thing to anyone thinking ah it's just a film let's have fun let's watch it um, but to those who know what I am talking about or more like know who I'm talking about um, you'll know what I mean and please leave in the comments if he was in there in some way and I just missed it or if he actually wasn't in there. But the thing that was missing, if you don't know, was Stanley. Now, Stanley, as we all know, creator of Marvel and all the characters. He has been in the cameo in every single one, practically, since they started doing the films. Um obviously he went before Captain Marvel was released and he managed to get his cameo in that and thankfully in Avengers Endgame so he got to see the end of how his uh, how his small little ideas became something big he, ma he managed to be able to see how it ended um, but the final film in the MCU's Phase 3 <sighs> unfortunately he missed out um, like I said if there was something there that I missed maybe a billboard a newspaper or something I don't know I didn't see anything but I would just like to say Mr. Lee if you are listening to the millions of Marvel fans that you have made I think I speak for all of us when we say very simply thank you now this video is it's gonna end with a little a little tribute to his life and the things that he created.
So thank you. Joy. And please, not for me, but for Stan the Man Lee himself. Please like the video to show that you miss him. I'm Stan Lee. I've been writing stories for the young generation for the past 30 years. During this time, I think I've learned a lot about what young people think. More importantly, I think I've learned a lot about what young people are. We're going to try to present a voice that somebody will listen to. The voice is needed. We hope it will be ours. Ladies and gentlemen, the one and only, Mr. Stanley. Stan was doing one of his panels and they asked me to come up and just say hi to him. I felt a little goofy, but I came up, I shook his hand. I think the microphone caught it, but I whispered in his ear. I said, hey, they just wanted me to come up here and shake your hand, but, but while I'm up here, I want to say thank you, you saved my life. Because the life that I have today, there's a direct line to that first comic book to hear. Well, Stan's best creation was always Stan. As a creative figure is one thing. Stan, as a personality, was able to somehow tap into his own larger-than-life, self-effacing and self-aggrandizing at the same time personality. As I would describe it, that P.T. Barnum aspect of him, it's just something he infused the group with, and it's something that the people who followed him have been able to kind of keep that energy going. I think Stan Lee is going to be an icon, what he represents, what he was able to accomplish. He built American mythology because stories are really what stay with us. Those characters that he created and what he infused Marvel the brand with have always shown through. Even if they have superpower, they have to be believable. What they do has to be what any normal person would do in those situations. And the idea that he championed all kinds of different voices, all kinds of points of view, and the concept of diversity and equality and conversations about you know social politics, all these things he had been doing for, for years, and now it's at the forefront of everything that we talk about. I just think he was just connected in that way, and he was connected to who his true audience was and who he was really writing for. He complemented that with always being hopeful, with his own first-person personality of being Stan. My earliest memories of Stan were reading those soapboxes. You felt like he was talking directly to you and no one else. What I didn't realize was that there was a kid behind me at the candy store reading the same thing, feeling the exact same way. His ideology was very clear. It was very black and white, how to be good, how to treat people equally. And that's a really powerful impact to lean into the light as much as you can, even if there's darkness all around you. In writing the soapboxes, I used to just talk to the readers, anything that came to my mind, just to make the books not seem like something cold and aloof and it's something you buy and you throw away. I wanted them to feel buying a Marvel book was like visiting an old friend. Without that, we wouldn't be experiencing the success we had today. People like that, creative geniuses like that, you can't help but walk away learning lessons. They, they have a way of delivering messages that, you know, just resonate with those of us who, who, who have followed his work and followed the characters he's created. He made it feel intimate and that anybody could belong to it. We're really lucky to have him really define us because it's really given us something to move forward with. There will never be a world without Stan Lee. He's the heart of the Marvel Universe.